फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मेकिंग द अबव सबमिशंस इट इज प्रेड टू अलाउ द प्रजेंट अपील एंड डायरेक्ट द रिस्पोंडेंट्स टू एप्रोप्रिएट द पेमेंट ऑफ रुपीज वन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव करोड़ टूवर्ड्स सेटलमेंट ड्यूज अंडर द स्कीम टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड दैट डिस्चार्ज सर्टिफिकेट बी इशूड टू द अपील ऑन अकोर्डिंगली वाइल अपोजिंग द प्रजेंट अपील लर्निड ए एस जी अपीयरिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया हैज वेहीमेंटली सबमिटेड दैट इन द फैक्ट्स एंड सरकमस्टांसिस ऑफ द केस नो एरर हैज़ बीन कमिटेड बाय द ओनरेबल हाई कोर्ट इन डिसमिसिंग द रिट पटिशन एंड रेफ्यूजिंग टू डायरेक्ट द रिस्पोंडेंट्स टू एक्सेप्ट द पेमेंट टूवर्ड्स द सेटलमेंट ड्यूज अंडर द स्कीम टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन इट इज सबमिटेड दैट एडमिटेडली द स्कीम वॉज वैलिड अप टू थर्टीएथ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड द लास्ट डेट फॉर पेमेंट ऑफ सेटलमेंट अमाउंट अंडर द स्कीम टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन वॉज थर्टीएथ जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी दैट देर आफ्टर the scheme was closed and even the designated committees were also dissolved and therefore as rightly observed by the honorable high court the honorable high court has no jurisdiction to extend the scheme it is submitted that if the scheme is extended it would create many complications it is further submitted that in the present case admittedly no payment was made of settlement amount under the scheme prior to 30th june 2020 and therefore the prayer of the original petitioner to extend the time limit to make the payment of settlement amount under the scheme 2019 was rightly rejected by the commissioner and the same has rightly not been interfered with by the honorable high court making above submissions it is prayed to dismiss the present appeal we have he heard the learned counsel appearing for the respective parties at length at the outset it is required to be noted and it is not in dispute that the appellant is entitled to the benefit of the settlement under the scheme 2019 the scheme 2019 came to be introduced on 1st september 2019 and the last date for making the application under the scheme was 30th december 2019 and in fact the appellant submitted the application in form number 1 on before the last date specified for making an application under the scheme after the form number 1 is processed the designated committee was to scrutinize the same and issue the final form number 3 determining the settlement 
the final determination form number 3 that the appellant was issued the form number 3 on 25th february 2020 and was required to pay the settlement dues on or before 25th march 2020 however in view of the covid-19 pandemic the government extended the time up to 30th june 2020 therefore the appellant was required to deposit the settlement dues on or before 30th june 2020 however even before the scheme 2019 came to be introduced the appellant was subjected to proceedings under the ibc which commenced when the nclt admitted the application under section 7 of the ibc thus the moratorium under the ibc commenced on 11th september 2018 the coc approved the resolution plan on 4th june 2019 and the same came to be approved by the nclt by order therefore the moratorium under the ibc continued up to 24th july 2020 under the provisions of the ibc no payment could have been made during the period of moratorium therefore the appellant was statutorily restrained from making any payment there was statutory disability on the part of the appellant in making the payment during the moratorium if the appellant had made any payment during the period of moratorium the appellant would have committed breach of the provisions of the ibc therefore it was impossible for the appellant to make any payment during the period of moratorium immediately on the moratorium coming to an end the appellant approached the authority requesting them to accept the settlement amount under the scheme 2019 as per the form number 3 such request has been rejected by the commissioner on the rejection has been confirmed by the high court therefore the short question which is posed for consideration before this court is whether when it was impossible for the appellant to deposit the settlement amount in view of the bar and the restrictions under the ibc the appellant can be punished for no fault of the appellant in a given case can the appellant be made to suffer for no fault of its own and be rendered remediless and denied the benefit though it was impossible for the appellant to carry out certain acts namely to deposit the settlement amount during the moratorium as per the settled position of law no party shall be left remediless and whatever the grievances the parties had raised 
बिफोर द कोर्ट ऑफ लो हैज टू बी एग्जामिंड ओन इट्स ओन मेरिट्स एज ऑब्जर्व एंड हेल्ड बाय दिस कोर्ट नो लो वुड कंपेल अ पर्सन टू डू द इम्पॉसिबल स्टॉप